Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Rose and today we are playing some more Star Stable. We are back in the lands of Jorvik. Actually, we're technically not in Jorvik. We are at the North Pole visiting Santa's magical Christmas market because I believe there are new quests for us to do. So, let's get started. Should we do the race first, seeing as we're up here? I feel like we should. Let's get the race out of the way first of all and get ourselves some more Christmas wishes. Let's go! Oh my gosh! This girl's riding a reindeer! <gasps> That's something I was going to tell you guys about very shortly, but don't you worry about it. We will get ourselves our very own reindeer today. I am certain of it. Yay! We did it! Okay, let's get our Christmas wishes from... I can't remember this one's name. Jangle. Rummy Tum Tum. That was one crazy run, Jangle. Getting a feel for the ice, are you? That'll be good if you still want to earn that Class B sleigh permit. Anyway, here are your Christmas wishes. Get yourself something jolly at the ice boutique. <gasps> Yay, we got another Christmas wish. Perfect. Have we still got that beard, by the way? <gasps> we don't! We no longer have our random beard. I don't know why that happened. I think it might have been a glitch. Because I definitely didn't buy the beard from the ice cave. It's just weird. Anyway, I think we have to go and talk to Santa. So let's go and get that out of the way. And then we will address the reindeers. Okay, let's see what Santa has for us. Ho, ho, ho. I trust you are having a wonderful time here in my magic Christmas market. Excellent. The little helpers I hired to fill in for my vacationing elves have really embraced the spirit of Christmas. At first I was worried that with the teeth and horns, the helpers would be more scary than merry, but they've really grown on me. I'm a bit concerned that some of the team leaders haven't sent me their daily reports. Running Christmas is no easy task. Perhaps these helpers could use a little help of their own. But I'm so busy myself with all of these lists to recheck, if only there was someone to assist me. I should have known you'd volunteer. After all, you're right at the top of my nice list. Now, let's see here. I'm missing reports from three little helpers. Pongle, Zingle and Krangle. Okay, Pongle's icy problems. The little helper named Pongle is as kind and warm as a roasted chestnut. If a bit of a warrior. That's why I made him my chief security helper. He was supposed to send me a safety report, but I haven't heard from him all day. He's currently stationed by the frozen lake. Perhaps you could go and check on him. Okay, who else have we got to talk to? Zingle. Tell me truthfully, young lady. I'm a fashionable fellow, aren't I? The fuzzy red suit, the tummy cinching belt. You could say I'm a fashion icon. Zingle, the little helper in charge of stocking our holiday fashions, thinks otherwise. He's been pressuring me to throw out my closet and get a total makeover. But what if I don't want to be fierce? Isn't cosy enough? Speaking of Zingle, he's been texting me non-stop. What do you think these emojis mean? Sweater 100% on fire? Is that a good thing? I miss the good old days when everyone communicated with handwritten letters and lists. Ugh. Maybe you could go in and check on Zingle behind the clothing boutique and make sure things aren't unravelling. Sure Santa, we can do that. Who else do we need to speak to? What is Christmas without comforting baked goods to warm the heart and the tummy? I am something of a cookie connoisseur. I know my way around your snickledoodles and chocolate chip varieties. This season, though, there's a new cookman in the cookie station. Oh, excuse me, a new patissier. Krangle is very particular about the distinction. Krangle and I had a few heated debates about what constitutes a cookie, and after a few disconstructed cookie experiences, we settled on traditional iced gingerbread. I thought everything was running like a well-oiled skillet, but Krangle still hasn't sent me his daily report. Maybe you could check up on him. Right, let's go and check on Santa's helpers and make sure they're okay. So, there should be one over to our right here. I think he's supposed to be behind here, maybe? Oh my gosh, this looks like a lot of stuff. Well, hello there, stranger. What are you wearing? Mind if I take a snap for my gram? Don't worry, you're flawless. But enough about you. I'm Zingle. And even if you haven't heard of me, you'll be wearing me soon enough. This Christmas, I'm a lowly warehouse helper, but next year I'm designing all the clothes. After all, being fabulous is what Christmas is all about. If only this boutique was as immaculate as my aesthetic. As you can see, it's a catastrophe. It was like this when I arrived this morning. Someone broke into our stock of the season's top fashions and dumped them on the ground like rejects at a sample sale. Oh, you gorgeous puffers and knits. What have they done to you? I'm so shook I can barely stand. Where's a pumpkin spice latte when you need one? You'll pick them up, won't you? Of course you will. You're fierce, horsey lady. 
Nothing could stop you. Not even a horrible mess. Okay, I guess we're picking up the stuff for this guy who could easily pick it up himself. I'm going to get off a of fortune blaze because it's probably going to be easier to manoeuvre around in this little space if it's just me. Everything is accounted for, and thankfully no damage that a little steam queen and gentle folding can't fix. Christmas is saved! What kind of monster would treat fashion like that? If you hadn't showed up when you did, the only clothes left for Christmas would be ugly sweaters. Help me, I can't bear to think of it. This was no accident, horse lady. This was sabotage. Santa needs to know. You'll tell him, won't you? And remind him about my fashion tips. That jolly man dresses to slay, but if he took my advice, he could dress to slay. Okay. Let's go talk to the guy over at the ice lake. B -b -b boss Claus sent you? I'm fired, aren't I? Oh, jeez. I should have known my job was on thin ice. Just give me a minute to pack my things. What's that? I'm not fired? You're here to help? Well, why didn't you say so sooner? As chief safety helper, it's my job to enforce proper ice traversal technique and minimise slips, falls and tumbles. I take my job very seriously. Lately, things have gotten terribly dangerous. There are branches scattered all over the lake. Someone could take a nasty spill. It has me so worried I can't think straight. I'm going to have to close down the lake. It's the only way to ensure no one gets hurt. Unless... You, you have to help pick up the branches scattered across the frozen lake. Safety, that's what Christmas is all about. Okay, I'll go pick up the branches. But safety is not what Christmas is all about. Safety is nice, but Christmas is not all about safety. It's about fun. Break out the tinsel, the lake is safe. Although, if you ask me, Christmas would be a lot safer if people and horses stayed off the ice altogether. A cosy indoor Christmas where no one can get hurt. That would be delightful. Something is still bothering me about the mess on the lake. A few branches here or there could have snapped off the trees, but all those piles had to have been deliberate. It's like someone wanted the lake to get shut down. That makes no sense. It says right here on the standard contract all us little helpers signed when we took the job, maximise for merriment and promote jolliness with all guests. Boss Claus should know about this. Can you let him know about the branches and give him my apologies for the late report? I won't let him down again. Right, we've got one more guy to talk to, but it definitely sounds like there's something fishy going on in this Christmas market town. Are you a health inspector? No? Phew, I was worried you were here to shut this cafe down. You're probably wondering what my confections are doing on the kitchen floor. This cookie baking gig should have been a cakewalk, but someone sabotaged my recipe. I'm way overqualified to act as Santa's director of cookie operations. Did I let that stop me from taking the job? No, I saw it as a chance to push my craft. The boss wants sugar cookies and gingerbread? I can do that, find my spin. Flour? Too pedestrian, let's go as spelt. No oven? Then I'll bake on a campfire. That's what Christmas is all about, right? Thinking outside the box. But then someone went and swapped out my curry powder with cinnamon. Can you imagine gingerbread with cinnamon notes? What is this, 1992? My curry ginger crisp would have blown your taste buds. No way I could sell such boring cookies. Okay, so I lost my temper a little and dumped the whole batch on the ground. It's not too late to bake a new batch the right way, but someone's got to deal with this mess. I'm making you my honorary sous chef. Take this broom and sweep up the bad batch before any customers or real health inspectors show up. And careful with that broom, it's vintage. Why would you put curry in gingerbread? Why? That is like the worst idea. Hey, nice job sweeping up the mess. Aw, oh, don't look so sad about it. Sure, those cookies look delicious, but they didn't respect my artistic vision, you know? Maybe I'll save a few of the unbroken ones for that Santa guy. For a so-called cookie connoisseur, he has really low standards. Finally, I can get back to baking. Forget curry, I'm going to try something new, totally outside the box. You've probably never heard of it. Oats. They're all the rage in Williamsburg right now. Wait, you're telling me that oats are quite normal around these parts? That's unexpected. I have to meditate on this. But about that last batch, I'm certain somebody tried to sabotage my baking. Someone here is jealous of my baking mastery. Has to be. Santa should know about this. You let him know when you give him my report. Okay, let's go back and talk to Santa guys about all these weird things that are going on. You sorted things out with our little fashionista? Zingle showed me his designs for next year's fashions and they are quite creative. Mrs. Claus usually handles our holiday fashions, but perhaps we should let him design a t-shirt. He does try so hard. This business with the sabotage is quite unsettling. Could it really be a rogue little helper? 
I thought our team building seminar had been quite effective, but apparently I was wrong. Thank you for checking in on Pongal. This business with the branches is concerning, but I wouldn't start jingling the alarms just yet. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Someone sabotaged Krangle's curry ginger cookie recipe? Well, I can't say I blame them, but on principle, sabotaging someone's baking is a very naughty thing to do. Most troubling. With the big day so near, I should be feeling merrier by the day, but something is keeping me from getting swept up in the Christmas spirit. What is it, Santa? <gasps> What's that little guy doing? Goodness gracious! Uh, what Santa? I, did I miss something? All I saw was your. All I saw was like your your butt. That's all I saw. Three separate reports from my little helpers suggest that someone naughty is making mischief in my Christmas market. So far, the incidents have been relatively harmless, but they point towards one motive: someone wants to spoil Christmas for everyone. This crash business sounds serious. I hope none of the little helpers were injured. Please, Rose, will you help me get to the bottom of this? Check out the crash and find out what happened. There was a crash. My thing was messed up. I did not see a crash. Right, where did they crash? All the way over the back. Okay. Let's go check it out. I literally did not see a crash. I just saw Santa's butt in my face. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go see if we can help. Hope everyone's okay. We're okay, coming to help. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks like a pretty bad crash. Let's check everyone's safe. Fortunately, the sleigh crashed into a mound of snow, so there isn't any damage to the market and no one got hurt. There's no sign of the sleigh driver. Could this have been the work of the saboteur? I should search the area for clues. Let's look for clues. This present is definitely ruined. I hope whoever this was intended for still gets a gift this year. A safety cone like the one Pongle, the safety helper, was wearing. I did notice that and thought that was a bit weird. Cookie crumbs. They smell like curry. Wasn't that the flavour Krangle was using in his recipe? Oh dear. This Yule goat took quite a tumble in the crash. What an odd thing to wish for as a Christmas present. Any more clues? Oh, there's some more clues over here. These sunglasses are so ugly that maybe they're hip. Definitely Zingle's aesthetic. It looks as if the sleigh slid off the ramp and crashed into the snow. It seems unlikely that it would have slipped on its own. I missed the rest of that. I don't know what, what the rest of that was, but it looks like we have to go back and talk to Santa. So, you're back. What did you discover about the crash? We can always fix the sleigh and make more presents. The important thing is that no one was hurt. But if your suspicion is correct and this is the work of a saboteur, well, I might have to cancel the Christmas market for the rest of the season. Unless we can find the saboteur and make his naughty streak end here. Are there any suspects? Hmm, you found clues that Pongle, Zingle or Krangle could have been behind the crash. This doesn't make any sense. I have to think about what to do next. In the meantime, perhaps you could check in on my reindeer. They must be so worried from all the commotion. Where's Santa's reindeer? Oh, they're over here. How do I get there? That's a real question. Let's just get off a of fortune blaze a minute and I think maybe there's like a gate over here I can use. <gasps> yes, there is. Boom, let's go check on Santa's reindeer. Ah, I love reindeer, they're so cute. Although the ones in Star Stable have really long necks. They're just weird. Oh, I used gingerbread, okay. Hang on a minute. What's this? This is odd. It looks like someone's passed through here in a hurry. There's a trail of odds and ends leading away from the stables. I should find out where it leads. Fortune Blaze! We're going on a mission. There's apparently a trail of odds and ends we need to follow. Um, going this way apparently? Hmm, what's this? Aw, it's got a sad snowman! That's super sad. And branches and presents and cookies. Hmm. The trail seems to end here. How odd. It looks like someone's been hiding out here in the forest. Could it be the saboteur? But it looks so cosy. I should investigate. Let's search the secret hideaway. I'll leave Fortune Blaze here. I don't want him trampling all over the stuff. Let's have a look. 
These pillows look pretty cosy. They do. It seems like whoever built this place has been living on an all-cookie diet. Jealous. Back issues of the Yorvik Gazette with the crossword puzzles filled in. Someone had a lot of free time. Uh, what else have I got to investigate? Oh, this little snowman here. A Santa hat size for one of the little helpers. I wonder who could have dropped it. <gasps> I'd say this is our guy. What? Who are you? How did you find me? You, you, you found me? But how? Ah! Oh no, I've got to catch him and I'm not on Fortune Blaze. Caught him. His name's Honey. It was me. I put up hazards on the ice. I made the mess behind the shops. I swapped spices in the bakery. I'm guilty. I'm sorry I tried to run. Don't worry, I won't do it again. Honey will go down in history as the little helper who tried to ruin Christmas. You must hate me. It's okay, I deserve it. I'm going to turn myself into Santa. Could you come with me? I don't have the courage to do it alone. Hmm. I think there's more to this. Little honey sounds a bit sad that they were ruining Christmas. Let's go talk to Santa and see what he has to say. Ho ho, hmm? What's that? You found the saboteur? So the saboteur decided to turn himself in. Honey, my little friend, whatever could have possessed you to cause all this trouble? I'm sorry, Santa. I tried to be part of the magic Christmas market, I really did. But while all the other little helpers found the spirit of Christmas, I couldn't find it inside me. I don't know what Christmas is all about. It's about safety. No, 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 it's about looking fabulous. It's all about thinking outside the box. That's Christmas in a nutshell. Wrong. No, you're wrong. Burn the all goats. Hold it. Santa, Christmas can't mean all those things, can it? Oh, honey, the spirit of Christmas isn't something you know in your head. It's a feeling you get in your heart when you're with the ones you care about. The spirit has been in you all along, in all of you, in different ways. The Christmas magic comes from bringing all your special gifts together. Like ginger and curry. Like pink sweaters and leopard print leggings. Bringing gifts together? I get it, Santa. Christmas is about presents. Presents! 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 presents. Ugh. I'd say Christmas is not about presents, but... <laughs> At least they, the little helpers seem happy now. Thank you for helping me learn that the spirit of Christmas is all about presents. And in that spirit, I have a special present for you. Now, if you don't mind, I have a lot of presents to wrap. Merry Christmas! What did we get? <gasps> I think we got some of the reindeer powder! Please say we got some of the reindeer powder. White reindeer powder! We did! Yes! So... This is something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Basically, um, for the Christmas period, they are selling reindeer powder. So you'll see these three reindeers over here. Uh, you can buy the normal reindeer powder, the white reindeer powder, or the grey reindeer powder. I want to... power? Powder. I want to buy some grey, for sure. But for now, let's use the one that Santa gave us, for sure. Right, let's just hop off a of fortune blaze. And then we just use the powder like so. And then Fortune Blaze is a reindeer! Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Oh, look at it! Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Right, let's go to the ice cave because I believe we can find the Santa hats again and get some more Christmas wishes. Because we have... how many Christmas wishes do we have? We have... 11 and we need a few more to be able to get those antlers I wanted. There's also a special reindeer powder you can buy in the ice boutique as well which makes like an ice reindeer I think. Um, I don't know how many Christmas wishes it is though. Uh, my cousins love to play hide and seek. Every day the five of them will hide in the snow around the magic Christmas market. Find all of them to earn the Christmas wishes that you can spend in the ice boutique behind me. I, did f I think I found one already so I think I just need to go find some more okay guys i've officially been looking around forever and i cannot for the life of me find any more of the little helpers so i'm gonna have to leave it uh, and go back to your vic and do some other quests instead because i literally can't find them i've ridden all around in the snow and i only have that one that i found over by that little shack over there I can't find any more, so let's go back to Jorvik. Hopefully our reindeer powder will still be on us when we go back. But oh my gosh, how cute 
this fortune blaze look right now. It's so cute. <gasps> look at that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Don't you guys just love Christmas? Like, for real. Okay, we are back in Jorvik at Steve's farm. And we have that quest to finish that we started with him. I just need to go pick it up again where we go to the observatory. So let me just go speak to him quick and grab the quest and then we will get going. Okay, so now we have to head all the way to the observatory, which is up here. Uh, to get so, we need to go... To get so? To get there, we need to go through the hollow woods. So let's get going. And Fortune Blaze is still a reindeer. He looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. We still need to buy our Christmas clothing as well. How, does, how can I forget that? Oh my goodness. Let's get going. Hello, yes, I'm Mario. Your name is Rose? What a cute name. And what a fantastic horse you have. How brave of you to ride the difficult path up here. Welcome to the Archaeological and Astronomical Society at Jorvik Observatory. The observatory has a giant telescope that we use to look at the stars. Oops, I accidentally picked up the second quest. Hello, Rose. Mon dieu. The winters here are terrible. Every year I get snowed in and I sit in the observatory for months without seeing a single other living soul. Well, maybe a lemming or two, but that really isn't the same thing. Ugh, the whole route up here gets covered in snow and ice and there are avalanches almost every day. It's life or death getting up and down this mountain. Enough! I've had enough of this! I wrote to the council in Silverglade to see if they can do anything about this. Yesterday I actually got an answer and the councilman in Silverglade wants to speak with me. Can you ride down and see what he has to say? Just imagine if he has a solution to this problem. Au revoir, Rose. Okay, so that's that one. Now this one. Hmm, I'm very busy here, as you can see. Important things are happening in the sky, but maybe you can help me. Last night I saw that some beautiful shooting stars and fragments of stardust landed close to the observatory. I can't get to them with this difficult terrain, but you have a horse and you're such a good rider, so I know that you'll be able to find them. Can you please collect six star stones for me? There should be fragments all around the mountain at the observatory. Okay, let's go find some star fragments. I think they're this way, if I remember rightly. Look at them. It's so exciting. Can you believe they come from outer space and you're the first human to touch them? It's breathtaking. I'll have a closer look at these later. Steve wants you to use the telescope to watch his fields. I have a really important star to study right now. Can you come back tomorrow? I'll have some free time then. Maybe you have something to do in Veildale until then. That's like so like, you've got a quest in Veildale, go do the quest. <laughs> okay, I think he wanted us to talk to the councilman in Silverglade for him as well. So let's go and do that and then we'll probably end the episode. Okay, we finally made it back to Silverglade. Let's go and talk to the councilman. Straight away. Good day. Yes, I have been working like crazy and have finally found a solution to Mario's problem, as well as a way around the red tape. It hasn't been easy. I wrote to Mario to let him know that the builder we hired to solve the problem is here in Silverglade now. He is waiting in the town square for Mario to come and show him the observatory. Now that you are here, maybe you can help him instead. Go and speak with him, Rose. He's standing by the fountain in town square. Oh no, the reindeer powder wore off. Wow, that's super sad. I was enjoying Fortune Blaze being a reindeer. We have so many quests, guys. Oh my goodness. There's just too many for me to do in a single episode. Right, let's quickly talk to this builder and then we're probably going to have to end the episode there. Foreman Olaf. Are you Mario? No, of course you're not. You're Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Foreman Olaf. Nice village you got here. It's tough to leave, but duty calls. First thing we need to do is inspect the site to see what the best solution is and whether we should build a tunnel or a new road. Take this camera and ride up to the North Link where they are digging a tunnel. Make sure you have a good view of the observatory. Take some pictures for me and we'll talk later when we meet at the North Link. I'm heading over there now. Okay, looks like we've got to go over and take some pictures. So let's go and do that and hopefully we can get something sorted for Mario so it's easier for him to get up and down the mountain because that mountain pass is super scary if you're not riding a horse. Let's have a look. Cool pics. Here's what I think. The mountain is too steep to build a good road and the tunnel would be too expensive. But that concrete block you found is the foundation to an old gondola lift that must have gone up to the observatory once upon a time. So let's be smart about it and build a gondola lift. I say it's the best option and I'm an engineer, therefore I'm always right. If we are lucky we can use those foundations from the old line to build a new one. There must be more blocks than the ones you found. Look for all the old foundations and place these smart GPS locators on them so I can see them on my device. 
here and decide if we can use them or not. I think that is where we are going to leave this episode, guys. In the next episode, we'll pick up with Foreman Olaf and also go back to the Christmas market and see if there's anything new there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like or maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!